I'm Damon Smith, Extension Field Crops Pathologist for the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Charcoal rot can be a difficult disease to identify from the top part of the plant alone. The best way to identify it is to actually get down and dig up a plant to identify the disease affecting that particular plant. In this case, we have charcoal rot on these particular plants. Once the lower stem and taproot have been cut away in cross-section, you can then inspect the internal portions of the plant and taproot tissue. Oftentimes you can identify sort of a gray uh, discoloration in that root tissue or lower stem portion of the plant. That gray tissue is oftentimes composed of microsclerotia. With a hand lens of 10x power or a little higher, you'll be able to actually identify the microsclerotia on a severely infected plant. And these are a great sign of the pathogen Macrophemia phaseolina. In very severe cases of charcoal rot, microsclerotia can actually be on the surface of the taproot, and these uh, microsclerotia can be observed with the naked eye. Plants that have been infected early in the season may not display symptoms until mid-season or later. In more mature plants, the fungus can cause reduced vigor, yellowing, and also wilting. Patches of these symptoms in a field are usually the first indication of a problem. Premature dying with leaves still attached to the plant is the most common symptom. Within a field, symptoms develop first in the driest parts of the field. Common areas include hillsides, headlands, and also areas where plants compete with trees. Charcoal rot has microsclerotia which form on the lower stem and taproot, which is very diagnostic for this particular disease. However, some other diseases can be confused with charcoal rot. These diseases include pod and stem blight, phytophthora root and stem rot, general saprophytic fungi, sclerotinia stem rot or white mold, soybean cyst nematode, stem canker, and sudden death syndrome. Because charcoal rot can look like these other types of diseases, be sure to scout very carefully in your fields.